So this place is actually Bugis Plus. Pretty nice place for you to shop, do your shopping. If you are in Singapore, this is a place where you can get all your clothes, your your perfume, your cosmetics, your sunglasses, almost everything that you need. So yeah, pretty a good place to shop. Now it's morning time, weekdays. That's why it's pretty empty in the shopping center now, I used to be a game addict and my parents find it very very hard to control me last time because all I wanted to do is just play games and it's only after like being slapped by life that I started to wake up and stop playing games. So today I'm at Coffee Bean. Coffee Bean for meeting a friend again. So today I'm reading Brian Tracy again. I've read this like more than 10 times but I still carry it with me every day because I need to constantly remind myself to practice self-discipline every single day. Otherwise, it's so easy to fall into temptations every day. Every single day, there are like tons of distractions coming at you. So you need to practice a lot of self-control and self-discipline. And uh, people are staring at me right now. When you practice self-control in one area in your life, then you would have more self-control in other areas in your life. Okay. Sam is a very successful investor and voice control over here. Successful investor and also a trader and also a very great speaker. Best investment advice that you can give any beginner aspiring investor? The most important thing is that uh, acquiring the proper financial knowledge is key before you embark on uh, any, uh, any any investment. Or most important of all, do your homework. Do your homework? Yeah, that's very, very important. Do your homework. Do not uh, rely on uh, hearsay or do mm. not rely on any recommendations or tips or etc. Most important. My, my tip, number one tip is do your homework. Meaning do your research before yeah. you even invest in something. Yes. Even though it's an analyst expert opinion, you still need to do your research yes. rather than blindly listen to them. Yeah. What is the best success advice that you can give anybody? If you want to be successful, I think the most important thing is you must approach every everything that you do with an objective mind. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, think of certain things in, from other people's perspective. I think that's also very important. So why did I sleep so late yesterday night? Because I literally spent hours after hours replying to your message. I can't pay my full attention to every single person, although I do appreciate you for dropping me a message because 
you bothered to take your time off from whatever that you're doing to write something for me and I really appreciate that and when I don't reply it doesn't mean I don't like you it's just that there are just too many things going on but I still do read your every single message so yeah please forgive me if I don't reply on you I still love you I still appreciate your support Going for a quick lunch now, so just close the trade on dollar yen. Close the trade on dollar yen went really well. I actually held the trade for like overnight. But because I was pretty confident that it's gonna work out, so yeah, that's why I hold it overnight. End up it end up being a profit. So just now I just bought tea. Man, I feel that it's too much caffeine for one day. Like mocha plus tea. Yeah, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to operate because I only had 4 to 5 hours of sleep, which is a little bit too little. And lunch day is pretty cool because I'm eating this. Yep, this is my lunch. Okay. It's okay. You gotta eat your mooncake. Tastes good. Today my friend called me and then he was like asking me, Karen, do you want to join the membership for the yacht club? Because he wants to bring me out together, we go on a trip on the yacht and then just chill out. I just want to say one thing, it's not about nitpicking friends based on their income. What I'm saying is that, let's say you want to earn $30,000 per month, for example, you need to spend less time with people who are earning $3,000 a month. And spend more of your time to having coffee with people who are earning at least thirty thousand dollar per month. You need to spend time with people whose vocabulary do not have the word expensive inside of them. There's not the word expensive inside their dictionary. Because the thing is, when you hang out with friends like these, their wealth mindset would gradually brush off and stick to you also. So that's why I really wanna challenge you to spend less time with people who do nothing about their lives and yet complain every single day and instead choose to spend that time with people who are taking real action every single day to achieve the level of income that they desire friends like these they tend to challenge you to dream big to think big to not play small to help you believe that you deserve the level of lifestyle that you desire to help you believe that you really deserve the level of income that you dream of if you want to change your life don't go around finding the secret system, secret formula. Go and change the people you hang around with first because that's the most important foundation that you need to change before you even start to pursue anything in your life. Because I realize that you can have the best system, best formula, best strategy in the world. But if your friends are constantly pulling you down, nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna change. Change the people you hang around with.